What's up, everybody? A little bit earlier today, so I can make sure I get this done for you guys. In case I don't get busy. Let's see. Wait for some people. What's up, Sammy? What's up, y'all? I wanted to get in earlier so I make sure I get my show done. So the regular time is 8, but sometimes, you know, if I know I might be busy later, I might just super schedule a show like a couple hours before, you know, so I make sure. I get my time in with you guys. See how you guys doing. You know, we've been quarantining and stuff like that. So let me post, get some people up in here. Okay, get started. I think Troop at work, so we might have to go on without Troop. Hey, Steve and the green team, everyone practice safe distances out there from Sammy. Exactly, man, because this stuff is real. I had got a couple friends that got sick, um, another friend, mother that got sick, and this stuff is serious, guys. It's serious. Um, some cities or states are about to open up within the next week or two. Just because they're opening up doesn't mean it's safe. It's still going to be um, dangerous outside. So you're still going to want to practice. Um, you want to, you still going to want to be safe, man. Still be safe. Even if your city or state opens up, it doesn't mean you're in the clear. So, you know, and even if you don't get sick, you don't want to, you don't want to lose your uh, mother, grandmother, or, your wife, you know, anything like that. You don't want to get nobody else sick and have them gone over this. And I just had a friend, a coworker who died and his funeral, they had to have like the digital type funeral. They had recorded it and kind of like posted it live um, because they couldn't have a big gathering, you know, type funeral. So you really just be careful. Even if your state opens up, be careful, man. Be careful. What's up, Drew? Hey, Clutch71. Hey, Steve. How you doing? Look at Shaggy, man. I want a haircut, but you guys know it is what it is. I just bought the meat box for $34.90. Where you buy it at? You bought it at Walmart? What's up, Park Music? What's up, Red? Hey, Steve. How's things going in Windy City? Things is okay. You know, everything's still shut down here. I don't think they're going to open us up anytime soon because they just canceled school for the year in Illinois. My daughter's doing like the uh, internet school thing. What's up, Mike? How you doing, Stan? Hey, guy. Hey, RB. What's up, Trooper Scooper? I'll drop you a link. Ego Troop, if you're not at work. Hey, Steve. What's up, Steve? How are you? I've been doing good. Went back to work, so been busy. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Chad. Mad props me down in Florida. Hey, Chad. Hey, William. Josh, five star. Hey, Daisy. Hello from Delaware. Hey, Travis. NJ in the house. New Jersey in the house. So I had heard a story as well. Um, more games are leaving GeForce now. So that's bad news. Um, 
I don't know why my search keeps on. Switching. I have my search set at Google. It keeps on switching to Yahoo. I don't know why. At first, I thought I was tripping. Then I'm like, nah, this keeps on switching. So I'm going to have to figure what's going on with that. So GeForce Now is... Uh, they're losing Xbox Game Studios and Warner Brothers. And um, that's more bad news for GeForce now. Um, the service is great. It's just that they can't get games. You know, they can't get the right amount of games in. And it has something to do, and this is with everything. I think the main thing is, is that companies are mad that you, you're able to play your games. Since GeForce Now is considered like a service, you know, it's a cloud, like a cloud service. It's still a service, even though it doesn't have its own platform. It pretty much gives you access to Steam. Um, get Trooper up in here. It gives you access to Steam. And um, it's not its own game platform, but I think, more of the gaming developers are leaving GeForce now or removing their games mainly because they don't want customers. Um, they want customers to pay for the games again since it's a service. You know, I think that's the main issue. That's my opinion, but um, that's the only thing I can come up with because it just doesn't make sense. Let me see if I can get because I keep on looking crooked. It just doesn't make sense that um let me see this real quick, trooper. Okay. It just doesn't make sense that they're removing their games because it's giving them another revenue um to get at as far as people with Android, you know, TV boxes, the NVIDIA Shield TV and stuff like that. The only thing I can think of that they're removing these games from this service is that they want NVIDIA to actually charge a ticket for the game again. And um, that's unfortunate, man. That's kind of greedy, but that's just the way it is. What's up, Nicholas? That's just the way it is. I, I really can't understand it, but um, check this out. Okay, so my daughter. What's up, David? It, it, it's just unfortunate that, you know, you got a good service that can help people out. It can bring new traffic towards PC gaming as well. But we have um, developers that's kind of being greedy. Because, you know, they, it's not that, you know, people already bought the game. So I don't know. It's kind of dark in here, too. Might be my lighting. I'm not sure. Not positive, guys. What you up to, Troop? Been down for six months. First time back. Hey, Dan, Joe. Chilling, chilling. What you up to? Not much. Let me. Can you hop on? Or are you at work? I'm on. I'm on. Let me uh call my daughter back. All right. All right. What's going on, my peoples? I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Staying away from people. You know what I'm talking about? What's going on, birds? What's up, Clutch? What's up, Drew? Mike, Mike, Mike. RB in the house. What's up, Techno? Redneck in the house. There we 
go Josh. I won. <laughs> Chemi, what's up, man? Black Bird, what's going on? Woods, long time no see, Woods. Yeah, lighting looks good. Everybody working? Everybody back to work or no? Anyone knows when the video shields will be back in stores? It depends what store <laughs> you go to. Should be there should be a couple around. Oh, sorry to hear that bird. Hey, you're staying safe. That's good. Slap A, what's going on? Oh man, it's been crazy out there. You gotta deal with people, you gotta deal with everything. Oh my god, it's like hectic. <laughs> but I like the quarantine, it's good though. It's keep a lot of people out the streets. Especially the drug dealers. Keep, keep them off them corners, you know? <laughs> I know that their pockets hurting real bad right about now. <laughs> Chad, what's going on, Chad? Been a long time too, bro. Still be back if he had to go make a phone call, call his daughter, you know, family first, then fun afterwards. You know how it goes. Anybody drinking? How was your 420 yesterday? Hell yeah, the commute has been better without the traffic, especially. Hell yeah. I get to work in no time and back in no time. <laughs> it's a blessing to still be working. I know a lot of people have a um, Jesus. How do I fix this thing? And the sea, and the sea all day, all night. Hell yeah. <laughs> a lot of people having trouble with their unemployment. So I had a lot of friends contacted me. Yeah, a lot of people are helping with them. Yeah, their checks going to their other bank that they had switched over and all kinds of bullshit. Oh, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> NBC is coming out with their own streaming service going to take their programming off Hulu. Yup, Gary. Um, it's called, uh, we talked about it before. It's called... This is getting crazy, man. I don't know why it keeps on doing that. What's it doing? It keep on switching my search browser. Peacock. Yeah, Peacock. When does it release? It releases... Uh, He's already released it. I gotta order that for you guys then. So it released April fifteenth. I'm gonna order that got for you guys for a month to see how it is. Or I probably order it and check it out. I didn't know it was releasing then. I thought it released next month. So I'm gonna check it out to let you guys know how it is. But yeah, whenever you see these uh services release, they're definitely gonna they're gonna pull their stuff, so people gotta like I told you guys. Once Disney did that, 
you're going to have a lot of people following suit. There's going to be a whole lot of people following suit. Let me go up. What'd you say, Billy? <laughs> Billy crazy. Let's see, let's see. Hey, Trooper, the best mod for every stream on YouTube out there. Trooper is on everything. What's up, Slappy? What is this guy talking about? So I'm trying to read you guys' comments. The Video Shield TV Pro is still out of service. I think it's mainly so they can sell the other, the, the, the dongle thing. That's why I think it's out of service because they should have been had more um, NVIDIA Shield TV's pro, uh, pros available. So the only thing I could think of, I'm sorry, I'm looking at you guys crooked, but I don't know what's going on. But the only thing I could think of is they want to sell that uh, they want to sell that dongle version. It was on sale for one thirty, but the original price of it is one fifty, I believe. And looking at it right, trying to find it right now. Nvidia Shield TV. There we go. Yeah, it's one fifty, and I just don't. I don't know. I don't think it's a good buy when the complete version is only one ninety nine, but it's up to you guys. I just don't. I'm not feeling paying one fifty for it when you get the whole thing for two hundred. What's up, Red Light District? Rob Granasi ended retirement to John join. Tom Brady in Tampa. I think that was a big win for the Patriots because he was retired anyway. So you picked up a fourth pick and some salary relief for him. So, I mean, it was like you got something for nothing because he wasn't playing with them. You know, you got something for a retired player. You can't beat that. Steve, you should switch your screen so Trooper covers you. Let's see. See if I can fix it. That's better. That probably right, might be where I'm looking all crooked, too. Let me know if that's green. They said, Larry Draper asked, Nitro is down and out. When these services get shut down, Steve, do they handle turnover user info from Larry Draper? I do not believe so, Larry. Would be messed up if they do, but I can't honestly answer that question. I can't honestly answer that question for you, but um, I don't believe so. But that's just with everything, you know, anything that collects your info, you, you never know. I will offer up can pay for my NVIDIA Shield dongle. AJ, I like the dongle. I think people buying the NVIDIA Shield Pro because you can get get all holy. Get what you mean, David? Get fire sticks because they sold out. Steve, I need you to get that Superbox S1 Pro. I'm going to check it out, guns. Hey, Steve, what's your thought of VPN use with the app Cinema or any streaming app? I keep getting told I need to get a VPN if streaming. I got an NVIDIA Shield from Everton. It depends on your location, Everton, for VPNs. Like I said, I never knock VPNs. Um, they're great if you need them. 
you know, they're great if you really need them, if you're really going to use them, um, or if you just want a peace of mind. If it's something you want to get, you can get a VPN. Um, so the VPN kind of more likely masks your location and stuff like that. So it's kind of like keeping you out of the loop. But um, I mean, it depends a lot for me to say, do you need a VPN? It depends where you located at. It depends what you're streaming. Um, it depends if you're doing any downloading or not. If you're doing a lot of downloading, it's, it's nothing to think about. If you're doing downloading, get a VPN, you know. Um, as far as streaming, it just depends what you're streaming. So it's kind of like a hard question to ask. But I have nothing against VPNs. I just seen a lot of people. Uh, I don't like when people try to scare people to get in the VPN because depending on what you're doing, you might not need one. Do you think the NVIDIA Shield TV is better than any Android TV box before? This is what I need to do. I need to try to move this over here, but they won't let me. Let's see. Okay, that's a little bit better for me. Okay, I like that. Do you think the NVIDIA Shield TV is better than any Android TV box before I start going to make any purchases from Dennis and Valentin? I think the NVIDIA Shield TV, uh, in my personal opinion, is the best device available. I don't think there, it's not going to be a, a device that's going to be better than the NVIDIA Shield TV for a long time, mainly because the NVIDIA Shield TV was made to be kind of like a console. It was made to be a console and a streaming um, TV device. So all the other Android TV boxes and stuff like that, or you know your Amazon devices, they were made just to do streaming. Period. You know they was just give you enough so you can stream good. So it's gonna probably be the most powerful Android TV box for a while because. When you think about it, it's almost like overkill. You know, you really don't need all that power, but you know, I like it. I think it's it's, it's my favorite device. And um, what's what's also great about it is we get updates all the time. People still have their devices. I have two of them. I have two devices from 2015 that's still getting updated. That's like unheard of in the Android TV box world. You know. You got other companies that, you know, you might get some for a year, then you might not. So that's why I like it as well. So I think it's a great buy. Let me try to catch my old messages and then I'm going to scroll back down to the new ones. Commute has been better without traffic. Okay, if I missed your question, just react to me because I'm going to try to catch up. I'm going to scroll all the way down to catch up. Is it possible to play Call of Duty games or GT5 on a Shield Pro with control only? Control on you. I don't believe you cannot play Grand Theft Auto uh, games anymore. I think mainly because um, I don't even think they that was removed from uh, NVIDIA. I think NVIDIA removed it because of the gambling laws in different countries. The gambling laws, you know, you know, uh, uh, they're different everywhere. So I think that's why it was removed. Grand Theft Auto Five, when you think about it, is one of the most banned video games. Period. So that might be the reason, but that's not playable anymore. The Call of Duty games, I have to check on it. I have to check on it. Matter of fact, let me plug it up. So I can really give you an honest answer. I don't like saying something I really don't know. I suck at first person games, so I don't play Call of Duty much i was about to get started in it soon though mainly because my friend he keeps on he keep, 
He keeps on harassing me about it. He want to get down on Call of Duty. Yeah, that was Lan B. Lan B told me he sent me an email about the video games getting removed. He that was Lan B. Somebody had told me about it. Lan B, thanks for the, for telling me. But um, that's the only thing I can come up with, man. Is that it brings another revenue to the company because they're hitting they're hitting from the Android TV. You know, they're hitting a pretty much a different market, so it brings a little bit of revenue to them. So I don't know why. I don't know. You know, it's not, I don't own, I'm not the developer, so I can't really tell you what they're thinking about by removing it. The only thing I can think the reason why they might be upset about it is because it gives you ability to play games um, that you already bought. Maybe they want NVIDIA to actually add another ticket for you to make, trying to make you rebuy these games, which doesn't make sense because NVIDIA, even though it's a cloud service, it's not really their platform that they're pulling from. They're pulling from um, Steam, Uplay, you know, all these other different platforms. So I don't know. I really don't know what it is. But even though the service is great, the service won't be anything if the games keep on removing from the service. That's the problem. Amazon Fire Cube is good. Yeah, I like the Fire Cube too. I like Amazon devices. VPN greatest for geo blocks like Sling, Pluto, and others only available in the US from Cami Guy72. Yeah, that's a great point, Cami Guy. Um, I think Netflix too. I think Netflix is banned. Uh, overseas in some places. So, you know, people might use a VPN to mask their location so they're, uh, it's, they're able to uh, use that service. So people use VPNs for a lot of different things, stuff like that. And that's that's a, one of the more main reasons as well, the geo-blocking. Two thousand and fifteen shield is the best ever made. I think the build quality was the best in two thousand and fifteen. Hey Brad, for the Nvidia Shield TV. But I'm not saying for you guys who don't have it to go out and get a two thousand fifteen version because I don't know. I don't know pretty much the condition of it. So I would, if I was just now buying the Shield for the first time. I would just go with the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, even though I think the 2015 version was the best build model that they made. What's up, JJ Cork? How you holding up during the quarantine? I'm doing great, man. I can't complain. Um, Bless, you know. Um, I had a, I had some friends that got sick, but, you know, I think it had some bad symptoms, but they didn't die. So that's 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 um that's a blessing, you know, not to experience any uh deaths around me. So I gotta be um you know, you gotta take the uh the good with the bad. Yeah, I, I know some people who have gotten inf in, in infected, but and they did have a rough time, but they're still living. You know, why does a downloader downloader? Why does my downloaded APK not work on both my shields? What you mean, Gary? No ads to Cody. <coughs> Excuse me. Any new technology? I've just been hearing a lot about the. Um, I haven't got it myself, but uh, the main thing that I'm really watching right now, as far as new technology, 
I'm gonna eventually get that new Google, well, that new uh, Google TV. But it just kind of reminds me of the Mi Box. That's why I haven't really been too excited about it. But I know it's gonna stay updated because it's coming from Google. And Mi Box just had a new firmware update. I need to test that out. Pro Extreme. I still like Diggs. Uh, CDTV just dropped a new version as well. Big Tone asked something. I can't see what Big Tone asked. Hey, Patty. What's up, Celador? Speak of the, the devil. I just mentioned something about Celador just dropped a new update. Let's see. Then a lot of people have been messaging me as well. I haven't been able to get to all my messages because, like I said, I went back to work. But a lot of people were asking me about Real the Bread and um, what does it do. And it just makes your it just makes everything easier, guys. I use it. Hey, Steve, a lot of people using the X Cloud out on there and video show have you tried it out yet i haven't tried it out yet craig i heard people talking about it though hey steve quick question with real the bread is it okay to stream yes kenny because the uh real the bread pretty much it, it, it's like it's coming from a secure server so it's okay to stream anything that's real the bread uh Sources and when you got real the bread, you're good. You don't need a VPN for that. Trooper said he's sipping. Hey Brad Asmar, what's up, big dog? I'm going to drop you guys a link so you guys can get on. Xbox X Cloud does not work on the shield from Cami Guy. It's something that people are using on the shield, though, Cami Guy. I don't know if it was X Cloud, it was something else. It's it's, it's kind of expensive, though. That's why I haven't checked it out, too. You know, you guys know I like to tell you guys about stuff that's a little bit more affordable. It's not ridiculous expensive, but it's higher. Thanks for the $10 super chat, Slappy. Appreciate your information, Steve. And Troop is a good dude, too. Yeah, Troop a great dude, man. Troop helped a lot of people. Like, when I first started, I didn't know how to do this live stuff. I'm still not perfect, man. I'm still not understanding why people use uh, Cody. Never been a fan when you could just play APK and for movies from Coach Garcia because um, it's different. The thing that's different from Cody and APKs is that Cody is an actual uh, media center. It's not even nothing to really do with – you know, I get it to where people are coming from, Coach Garcia. Like, if you just want to watch something, you don't need Cody. But Cody's like a media center for people who like to actually, you know, customize stuff, have stuff all in one place, um, give it a look that they want, like as far as wallpapers, thumb, you know, thumb, I mean, wallpapers and stuff like that. So it's an actual media center. They're two different things, you know. Um, APK is just something you just use to watch stuff. Cody Media Center, something that you can design on your own. So people like media centers too. So it just depends on what what you want.
My downloader app stopped working on my shield. Any answer? Um, the downloader app, you have to see if I can find you that video. Matter of fact, I don't know. Gary, do me a favor and email me and I'll send you that video. Because I got to look it up. I don't know. Off rip. And I'll send you how to do it. It's something you, it's a website you got to go to to pretty much enable it. Hey, bittersweet. I had to update my modem and my router and my. And Netgear makes some good products. Yeah, Netgear makes some good products. Then you they constantly um give you firmware updates too. What do you say? I wish I could. Who is that, Billy? I wish I could donate, but I'm broke and live in DR from Billy. It's okay, Billy. It's okay. Yeah, you have to put the plug. I forgot what the plug is. And that's exactly what I did, Brad, because Troy Point does the downloader app now. And I think he removed it from, he made it that you had to put the plug because they would have banned it from the store. We'll say iPhone uses a completely different system. They're not moving to an open source system like Android. Nah. Nah. Then Android might ch change too. I'm hearing a lot of stories that and Android's thinking about kind of doing that um something similar to iOS. But I think I think you know, you got people that love iOS, iPhones, you got people that love Android. I think those people who love Android, that roll with Android as far as the phones and stuff like that, they're with Android mainly because um, it being pretty much open source. You know, you pretty much can do pretty much what you want to do. Those are ma the majority of the Android users, in my opinion. So I believe if they remove that, as far as, you know, if they made a new... Um, OS, you know, Android OS, removing, you know, that open source, it being open source, I think it would be pretty much something that would destroy them. I think mainly if they did that, people would just go to iOS because that's the, that's what pushes people to Android in the beginning anyway. Let's see. Let's see. Now, download the app is back, but you do got to add the plug to get it working for the shield. Because it was removed. Uh, it was kind of changed for the for the Play Store. Hey, Steve, why does the shield TV take so long to load Fortnite on GeForce now? I have to check that out, Asmar. Yeah, but that's just a that's a personal preference. You're gonna have people that like Cody. You're gonna have people that just want to use the APKs, and no one's wrong. You know, people are gonna have different opinions. We got different people, so. Um. I can't say which is better. Uh, if you use a real debris, though, I think it's better coming the add-ons. Thanks for the five dollars super chat from Asmar. Hey, Steve, for those digs bill is awesome. Yeah, I like digs. You guys know I love digs. Still love digs. What's up, Eddie? Let me make sure I 
hit everything too as well before I invite people in. So I told you guys I got to still check out Peacock. We talked about that. And we talked about the Mi Box new update. I'm going to check that out for you guys as well. With their updates, you have to play for it with it for a few days. I can't even launch it on here. You have to just mess around with it. What's up, Tim? Hey, Steve, why not figure out these questions by putting it into answers and then upload a video on how to video to do video from Billy Luna? <coughs> Excuse me. The thing is, Billy, with some of the questions, I can't do videos for anymore because the videos will give me a strike. So I got to like the videos I do got to be safe for. um you know, safe for me, like the fam. But that's what I usually do for some questions. It's easier just, that's the easiest thing to do is just make a video. But it's, you know, YouTube has changed. So you got to really watch out what you make a video of. Where Trooper Scooper go? Okay, so I'm gonna drop invite before I leave. Let's see what you guys been watching. So you guys can join if you want to. Do you have a link for the real the bread will eliminate my need from Everton? Uh, the real the bread sources are protected, Everton. So you don't have to have a VPN with it. Some people do. Um, when I purchased it, I used that. Uh, how did I purchase it? Because I got Let's see. It's just the problem. I forgot, I can't look at it right now because I'm signed in. Huh. I used my debit card when I bought it. I remember when I first bought it though, I had to, um, if you're in the US, I had to call and let them know that I had was making a international purchase. Cause it was kind of it was a block theft. That's with any you know bank or anything like that. If you order anything online and stuff like that, sometimes you have to call them. 
So this is the site though. Don't see your email link in my video. This is my email. You guys got to email me. Thanks for the $20 super chat, Cami guy. Let me see. Because before I wanted to go, I wanted to talk to you guys. Hey, Teresa. So you guys can jump on. If you have a camera or a mic, you can do it on your phone. Let me know what you guys been watching. What's up, Everton? What's up, Red Dog? Red Dog said you can use Amazon now. Hey, Steve, I purchased some games on Steam to play through GeForce Now. Now I can't play them anymore. GeForce Now removed them now. I can't play them. Do you think? What do you think I should do from Joe? If you just purchase the games, sometimes they give you a little bit of time that you can um, get a refund fun from them. I think it's like two days or something like that. Um, if not, I got to check to see how they're going to do that. I got to check to see because it, it, it's, it's a big mess with GeForce Now. It's called, well, not GeForce Now is causing, but the developers that's removing their games is causing. Because now you're having people that didn't have PCs purchase these games. And then you remove them from services like, uh, GeForce Now and people can't play them games anymore. So it's 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 pretty much a messed up situation. And like I told you guys, a lot of things, a lot of times, once I get a chance, if I'm not doing anything, I be trolling some of these companies, and I'll be like, hey, because it's, it's a bad look if you're a company and they purchase your game that you're removing where they're playing your game at. So I don't like that that's happening. And but I, I you know I can't really say if they're doing the right thing or not. But it, it, it's a messed up situation, man. It's messed up, and it's gonna cause a lot of problems with GeForce now, and it won't be successful successful unless they fix this somehow. Probably reinstall it. DB sixty six. Tampa Bay O-line sucks. Good luck, Brady. We'll get lots, lots of sex, sex from Lamb B. I don't know. It's going to be good to watch, though. I don't think they're going to be. I don't know. I got to see. You know, the NFL switches almost every year, almost. I feel you, Billy. What's the best app or gadget to use to protect my shield? Thanks from Mark. Um, I honestly don't use no virus protection or nothing for my shield. I just flow it. I remember a while ago, it was like three years ago, I believe, I had downloaded something that um, had gave me like adware. You know, he gave me some adware where his ads was popping up in my shield. And what I did was I had... Um, downloaded that Dr. Webb and just pretty much did a virus uh, check and then eliminated it. But that's like the only problem I ever had. I never really uh, had any huge problems for it. Steve, what's the difference between playing games through GeForce Now and just having Steam to play them from Teresa? Uh, there's no difference. The difference pretty much, well, GeForce now only goes up to 1080p, 
60 frames uh 60 frames uh per second so um if you have a comp computer that's better you know that can you know you got some uh some of them uh, uh uh some of them you know you can get up to 4k so actually go on to steam if you have the be uh good equipment is is probably best but there's no difference the thing with geforce now that's just ex excited to a lot of people that it gave people the ability who didn't have pcs or didn't have high quality pcs the option to play these PC games, you know, or platforms like Steam without a PC. So there's no huge difference besides that. And uh, Steam has every game available, you know, every game that's in the Steam, you know, it's Steam. So if you got a good PC, you can use any game. GeForce Now pretty much has a catalog with this uploaded stuff in their cloud and that stuff available in their cloud you can use. <laughs> Ooh, let me get my sanitizer. Had took one of my shoe bottles, <laughs> cleaned it out so I can carry sanitizer with me. But it's almost like the same thing. It's just they get GeForce Now is pretty much a, a way it gives people the opportunity to, to play Steam, other platforms you play. Um, what else they have? Somebody else help me. Let's see if I can find my keyboard thing. Trooper back. Yeah, UPS was at the door. Just just got my uh fourth fourth shield. <laughs> you just got your fourth shield? Yeah. <laughs> so the G Force now it, it just gives you the option to play these games. It's this pretty much the same thing, but you can only play games that's in cloud. So the games that's in the GeForce Now cloud go down here. Let me see. Hold on real quick so I can get the game stores. I think it's still, I think you play is still available too. You can only play the games available in this cloud. So if you purchase games, only purchase from the cloud. But like I said, here's the problem. The problem is you got these developers that's removing the games from GeForce now. So it's just hard to really, if you don't already have a PC where you can uh, play your Steam games or whatever you bought, it's just hard because you're taking a chance now because it's not a guarantee that you'll be able to keep on playing these games on GeForce now. And that creates a huge issue that these some of these games will be removed. Like, say, if you bought Grand Theft Auto Five or whatever, and you was playing it uh, mainly on your Nvidia Shield TV, then all of a sudden it got removed, and you don't have a PC to play Steam anymore. I mean, Steam, your Steam game. 
now you're pretty much lost. And that's a huge issue. You know, I'm getting a lot of messages about it. So it's a great service, but as these games keep on removing, it's it's it just creates a risk. Creates a risk, even though some of these games aren't expensive. Some might be ten dollars. Some must, some of them five dollars. You know, you got some games that people might spend twenty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollars, and that's not a lot of money, but still people money. You know, to take a risk with. And that's just what it is. I just, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's becoming a risk now that more um, companies are just removing their stuff. I'm going to have to make a video about that. Hold on, guys. Take this. Steve is going again. Yeah, I just got my fourth shield. It was a present. It was a gift. What's going on? Teresa Harper. What's up, Tim? What's going on? You're late. I'm going to have to fire you. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got to get more Henny before the store closes later. What's up, Triple M in the house? What's going on, my brother? Long time no see. I, st I see you doing no videos. Hey, Dell, jump on the link. Link is out there. Let me post it real quick before Steve get back. <laughs> oh, my God. That's why I had to switch times. There we go. <clears throat> they praise in Tampa Bay because Brady. I love Tom Brady, but, I mean, it's just, man, Father Time catches up with every man. <laughs> Father time catches every man, and there's nothing you can do about that. We got Triple M in the house. We got Deli Dell in the house. What's up, Triple M? What's up, Dale? He said, oh, no, no coughing, man. I hate when I have to cough, man, in public. <laughs> People look at you so crazy. But I keep my mask on and everything. Drop a link again. What you guys been watching since quarantine? I just watched that uh new movie, The Platform, yesterday. I didn't watch the whole thing. I don't like the 40 minute time limit they put on the thing to play G Force for McMahon. Yeah, it's it's that's for free. If you want to play it for free, they get the, you get the time limit. If not, if you got the founders edition. I believe it's up to a few hours or something like that. There's still a lot of the Chill Pro around here, but have the tubes from Brad. At first, I thought it was like the coronavirus that was affecting everything. Now I'm starting to think it's just they want to sell them tubes. I think they want to sell more than them tubes before they bring it. Nothing new to watch. I've been watching old stuff. I watched Uncle Buck last night. It's 
So I like Brady. I like it's just it's a different league as far as, as far as the NFL. You know, it's a it's a whole lot, you know, and you got a lot of young gunners. And um I just I don't know. I'm not I like to see it. I'm gonna like watching it to see what happens, but I'm not expecting as much as everybody else about it. Cause you got a whole lot of young gunners and they they're they're ready. You know. What's up, Miss Gail? How you doing? So so trooper are gonna take a vacation when everybody goes back to work. Man, there's no vacation here, bro. I'll still be working. Work, need, work, work. I need a long vacation. <laughs> It'll be crazier when everybody gets back to work. Put it that way. <laughs> What's up, Tim? No, nah, that's not your fault, Tim. I came on early. I just wanted to make sure I make it on. Hey, Marisa. Let's see. So I'm looking at the comments. Because we haven't had too much new happen before that, besides that GeForce Now. The NVIDIA, either NVIDIA's one of those tubes to sell, or they might be releasing something like a new package. Like I told you guys, that uh, that controller passed. The controller passed, and they were supposed to release that controller, but we haven't seen no official images of it yet. But it got approved, so I don't know if they're still releasing that. And um, my actual opinion about it was they're gonna, was they gonna, was they was gonna drop another gaming edition of Nvidia Shield TV to sell that new controller with. So I don't know if they're actually about to. They're planning something like that. I don't know what's going on. Steve, do you think the Disney will release Black Widow to the theater, theaters or a VOD or Disney Plus? Uh, when was it supposed to release? Like May, right? Let me double check. I wanted to see Black Widow too. And it just depends. Like I said, with the it depends on um probably what state you in. What state you in because different states are gonna reopen at different times. And just because a state reopens, um say I heard Atlanta's opening back up next week that's what i'm hearing um say atlanta opens up just because it opens up this this virus is still here so even though it opens up it might just mean like some of the businesses is open up and stuff like that as far as big bigger places like stuff with a lot of uh people gathering in there like movie theaters they still might not be open back up even though that state is open back up maybe the movie theaters might not be open up. They might keep like um, bigger places like that closed. So we pretty much got to see what happens and different states will, I just can't give you an honest answer because I just got, you know, you really just got to see. You in Chicago, Big Tone? I don't think we're going to open back up to about June. Too big. I don't think we're gonna open back up to like June. Um, I could be wrong, but um, I think it's gonna be still shut down. So, Giorgio, so Jose, Maurice. But if it don't open back up, yeah, you you might see. Um. Black Widow, probably on the VOD. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure. That's so big, though. That's going to be a huge uh, film because it's coming, coming from Marvel. They might hold on to something like that and push the release date farther down. Because, you know, that's a box office film. It's Marvel. Crazy to open anything until they find something, any cure or something. Yeah, that's crazy to, like I said, even if your, your, your state's opening back up, there's still no vaccine. There's no cure for this stuff. And um, I'm hearing diff different things. Like um, I told you guys, my friend's mother got sick. She had to stay in the hospital uh, with the fever and stuff like that. She eventually got out the hospital. And once she got out the hospital, um, they still tell her, yeah, you beat the symptoms. You're fine. But they pretty much still said you still have it. <laughs> You still have, uh, you, you still have it. There's, it's not going away. We can't eliminate this from you until we get a vaccine. So I thought at first that you catch it, and it's like the flu. You catch it, you get sick, and then you eventually get better. But it's they're telling some people that I heard that even though they got better, you still have it until you take that vaccine. You heard something about that, Dale? Uh, yeah. What you what you were saying? I came in on my the mother went to the hospital. She had to stay in the hospital because of the fever. Mm -hmm. She tested uh, positive. Okay. So once she got better, she was released from the hospital. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she was like, okay, so I don't have it no more. It was like, now nah, you don't have no symptoms no more, but you still have it. Yeah. I think you can, you can carry it. You uh, can carry you, it. And you can, you can um, get it again. From my understanding, because, you know, I think just like your city, my city, we, New York, we hot spots right now. Yes, yeah, hot spots. But I think they're just so much. People want it open up because there's a lot of people suffering, man. Yeah, it's a lot, of, a people, lot of people man. suffering. And then, you know, you got some people that can't even get their unemployment. Yeah, it's, it's real bad. bad. It's real bad. It's you real know, bad. you got a lot of jobs that still working, but you got a lot of people off out of work. Yeah, I'm a I'm a essential, as you know, you know, um, we deal with medical, government and uh, financial. So we got to remain open, but uh, we are we are safe. We got the mask, uh, the gloves, the hand sanitizer, you know, but in my in my uh, huddles every day, you know, I, I tell everybody I don't care. Wash your hands. Uh, uh, if anybody come in, just like any other company, I mean, if you coming in with a cough, I'm sending you back home. <laughs> you <sound laughs> Hi. That's a good thing. But you got some companies that's not sending people home. Yeah. Some people, I mean, I'm just not trying to get our whole crew affected, man, because I've seen uh, certain companies, uh, neighboring companies up the road, domino effect. One person come in. And uh, next thing you know, everybody ill. So, should debtors debtors are taking folks stimulus che checks? To me, that's messed up. Yeah, for child support and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So you already know how that goes. So you know, you got people that's not getting the stimulus checks. You got people that can't get their unemployment. It's messed up. Yeah, one of my partners going through that. He thought he was gonna be able to buy him a big screen TV, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a chance you take when you got them kids out here. What's up, Shine? Yeah. What's up, Kimmy? What's up, Shine? Yeah. What's good? What you been up to, Dale? Chilling, man. Just uh. Did a little show yesterday. Uh, uh, um, Super box. They actually sent me a box. You like it? I like it. Um, but like I was saying on the show yesterday, uh, it's not meant for like me and you or the Vans user. It's, for, for, it's, new. it's for somebody who's not too tech savvy. It's a reseller box. 
Well, I ain't gonna say, it's probably for someone that's it's like a it's like a reseller selling the box. Yeah, but it's expensive though. It's like three hundred dollars. Oh no, I can't do. It. I mean, for us, we can't do it, but I can see yeah. it giving it to like someone who's not too tech savvy. Yeah, everything is right there, man. I'm talking about they make it the user interface is just easy. Everything is so it. It's very easy. You got the live TV. They got a big portion of that, big VOD, and you know, you, of course, you can add your apps, man. But um, I like it for the less tech savvy person. I would have got this um before I even set my mom's up because it took about three, four months before my mama finally caught on. Yeah. So you know the customer service, being on the phone with your moms and then my pops. Oh, that was even worse because <laughs> I had to go over to his house. <laughs> so I would have took this box. I would have invested in this box just for them because it was straightforward. It was straightforward. I probably would have put my Plex on there. Uh, you know, uh, it just went went what right there. Man. They using huh? What kind of box are they using? My mom's is using the Cube. Um, yeah, the cube. My pop, yeah, my pops had that um, an Android box, and then I I turned him on. And got him the fire stick 4k but i mean my mom's is more she's a little bit more advanced very light advanced um than my pop but my pops is just nah man it was frustration <laughs> i think the older women are are, are more <laughs> like i think it's like i don't know because the older women like they they does zoom into it a little bit more yeah yeah my pops man it was like I say, going over there, this cat ain't know how to. He ain't know how to put it into the HDMI. So you know, I I say, Dad, you know, I had to go grown folk talk with him. <laughs> I said, I, I just told him. Billy said, "Don't need vaccine if you caught it and beat it, you immune to it." Well, yeah. I think that's the pot. That's the thing they saying too now, because once you catch something, yeah, your body. Once yeah. your body fights something. It's just like chicken pox. Yeah. You know, if you had chicken pox before, you can get the, uh, what they call it, the uh, when you get older. Um, dang, I don't forget. The shank, the shankle, what is it called? The shankles? Or shingles. shingles. Yeah, man, you're accustomed to it. So that's what a lot of older people get when they get older, man. What would you do? Think what happened to movie apps with no new content to put on there? People just watch older stuff. <laughs> That's what people are doing, though, Steve. That's what people are doing. You know, you got a lot of people on quarantine. Yeah, you got a lot of TV series and stuff, man. It's a lot of stuff that I never, you know, that I wanted to watch, but I just never had time to catch up back up with. Yeah, that's what people are doing. Then you got the whole family home, so it's like you know, some people got the whole family home, so it's like. You know, you catch up with older stuff, so it's always going to be something to watch. Oh yeah, you know, it, it's 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 impossible for a person to see everything. I think. Yeah, man. My wife, man. My wife don't watch. <laughs> my wife say she she don't watch all the Ozarks, everything, man. She just everything. Let's see. Ozark is crazy. I gotta check out Ozark. Yeah, I heard it's pretty good. I, I like I said, I don't have a chance, man. I, I watched that platform. I ain't watch it all. It was kind of. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the box right here, Steve. The X One Pro. Yeah, people asked me about that. Somebody asked yeah. me about that earlier. I mean, it. it like I say, for, for someone who's not tech savvy, man, if you don't want to be on the phone with them, I think this a hey, get a couple of your siblings and y'all go half on it, you know, and uh, get the box for them, man, because out the box, I mean, everything work compared to all these other applications. They could just click on live TV and keep it moving. I hear they're overheating. I, I think Billy Luna said he lost somebody in his family. Sorry to hear that, Billy. Yeah, I didn't catch the whole comment. 
Yeah, sorry to hear that, bro. You say what troop? You heard they was what the uh, the S one Pro box was overheating. Mm. Shit, mine's as cool as shit, mine's been sitting up here. Uh, well, you know that's just with everything when you know when you buying a lot of devices, especially like usually you know people like that they usually just buy the boxes, you know, put their stuff on it and program it and sell it. You're gonna have. Um, you're gonna have damages. You're gonna have Bro. devices that yeah. not thing. The good thing, the thing is that that tells you if a company's good, will they replace it? So, yeah, yeah they got a one year. They say they got a one year uh, warranty on it. Yeah, somebody um, replaced something for you. That's good. Yeah, but I mean, I was hearing stuff. People was like, "Yeah, I heard it buffer." I put it on the the DST Facebook group. Didn't buffer not once. I've been watching whatever service they have on here. I don't know what IPTV service it is. Whatever it is, this bad boy runs. Yeah. I mean, no, no. And you know, we done play with a lot of IPTV. Yeah. <laughs> some good, some bad, man. But uh because they probably just keeping it for they uh maybe it's probably they, yeah. their own and they just keep it just for they they just keep yeah. it for their customers. Yep, strictly for whoever get it, man. You no, know, so somebody else who did that though. What's the name did that too? I forgot their name. Um, I forgot their name. They used to do it back when we had first started. They used to do it a lot. Not that Steam that that's um, Sky Streamer and stuff like that. No, nah, like somebody that. else. I can't remember, Steve. You know, we've been at this for a minute. Yeah. One of them we got in trouble. Uh, we've been at this bad boy for a minute. Does anybody know if Ubisoft is releasing their Assassin's Creed this year or with the pe pandemic going on? I don't think it would affect anything because a lot of these sales anyway go digital, these games. So if I was a gaming uh, company, I'm not going to delete delay any of my game releases. Heck so. Now, for movie releases, that's something, something that's big is, because, is, you know, Black Widow's supposed to release. Yeah. I don't know if Black Widow's gonna, you know, you know, like a lot of these movies have went through, you know, the bad VOD. I don't know if they'll do something like that with Black Widow, because this is gonna be, that's an instant uh, box office movie. Mm -hmm. Marvel. Yeah. You think Marvel gonna be a hit? I I've been waiting on the quiet, the quiet uh place part two. Quiet place too. Yeah, I, that's what I want. Uh, Miss Gail, she say, can you add Plex to the box or, or server? I don't know if you can add the server to it, but yes, you can add Plex to this box. It's a regular Android box, so you can add the Plex app over here. As far as the server, I don't know if the box is, you know, uh, have has enough strength. Um, I'm quite sure you could put the Plex server on here, but will it run it? I don't know. I don't know, but I know it'll run uh, the Plex app, though. The Plex app, it should it should run with no issue. Say ball in here. Hi. They said Bo. Either somebody called you Bo or they said Bo on here. <laughs> Bo might be live. You know, y'all go live around the same time. Quiet Place 2 should be good. I don't think yeah. Quiet Place 2 going to release on VOD. Yeah, I don't think they holding it up because they, they, uh, they, it was supposed to come out and then they said like April. Oh, like, it's supposed uh, to already release? Yeah, it posted came out, but with the coronavirus, it, it got pushed back to um like April, like I want to say um either the 22nd or it was like the 25th. I don't think they're gonna release it. Cause I think it's in Heidi Man. Now it ain't no Black Widow Heidi Man, but you know, it, it, it's in Heidi Man. Yeah, it's gonna be a box office hit. Yeah, it's gonna be a little nice little hit. So if somebody know if somebody know they they their movie gonna hit one or two in the box office, yeah, they might just hold on to it to wait. Mm -hmm. 
Are you guys looking forward to to Wonder 1984? What's that? It? Oh, uh, 1984. Are you guys looking forward to Wonder? Oh no, I'm talking about Wonder Woman. I I ain't know no I ain't, I really didn't care too much about uh the first Wonder Woman. I mean, some people like it. Honestly, the only woman only Wonder Woman I care about was uh Linda Carter. I, I man, I used to think she was the finest woman on the world, boy. <laughs> man, them I, eyes was so beautiful, man. I think I think it's gonna be a hit. I think it's gonna do well. I mean, it should do well, but I just, um, you know, I'm a Marvel guy. I, I like Marvel movies. I think I'm better than the DC movies. Yeah, I think you know, as far as like Batman and um, you know, Superman. Uh, Batman was great. I liked Batman well, when they redid the Batman. Yeah, but uh, honestly, I like Joker. If you understood the concept of it, you know, some people was mad. Oh man, this ain't true Joker. It, but the concept was, it, it was just, it was, it was, uh, it was telling you how he became the Joker. It was okay. You know, I thought it was pretty good, man. Knowing it, it was, good. Health. it was, a, it was, a, it was okay. Mental <laughs> health, man. Mental <laughs> health is everything nowadays. <laughs> yeah, that was. It was a good movie. It was good. It was. It was. Yeah, it was something to watch. It was yeah. good. It was okay. I mean, when I, th- I, I grade a comic movie high. You know, because yeah. I like the comic, I like comic movies, so I grade them kind of high, high. So we well, feel like it's something I don't really think like as a comic movie. You know, it's like yeah. it's it's a good movie. Yeah, I think. Yeah, and then when you when you see the Joker and Batman, you know, old boy that played the Joker, the one that passed away. Uh, he was good. I yeah, like nah, that was good. That was good. What man. Was that? that was uh. That had to be what about 2013? Somewhere around that 2013, 2012, or something like that. That was uh yeah, he was cold. He was by he far was the best. He was Hugh Ledger. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he passed he away, but uh, you know, uh the Joker will take you there. What's up, three five one Cleveland? What's up? Walking Phoenix wasn't bad. I still ain't seen. Uh, Walking, what's his name? What's his name? Walking Phoenix, who played the latest latest Joker? Who my man? Who? Oh, I don't know his name. I think I thought he did a good Walking, job. Though. Walking Phoenix. I mean, he played a good Joker for the movie. Yeah, yeah. For like for like a series or something. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, hey, you see what Walter say? Walter say that the Carter was beautiful. <laughs> hey, hey, when I was little, I used to just stare at him like, <laughs> I just love when she spent hey, hey, <laughs> what she used to spin. <laughs> Steve, when she used to spin, man, and bring a hat on, I used to be like, oh. New 007 movie looks good. Yeah, it do. It do look good. Yeah, I know it's a lot of these TV series that might be affected too, because you know a lot of them. Yeah. What are they saying in your in your neck of the woods? Are they trying to open up on the first, or did they push it out? It's, they just suspended school for the rest of the year, so I don't think they're gonna go back until about June. What go back to? Oh, you talking about opening up everything? Yeah, they talk about June. But even, you know, these cities that I was talking to them about it, these cities that's talking about they're opening up, because, you know, Atlanta said they opening up next yeah, year. Yeah, I heard. I heard. So even though they opening up, I don't, I think it's not going to be open up, open up. It's still going to be something like you ain't still going to be able to go to a concert or nothing like that. Well, I know I read a report. Um, I want to say Georgia is opening up what Friday, but then everything opens up that following Monday. You saying they, they saying everything, everything, or do they at just least, at least that's what the report said? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be everything, everything for a while because they said they um, opened July, they, August. They said, um, hair salons, massage parlor. They said, every they said, I can see everything. something like that, but I just don't see no 
you know, events, you know, like a baseball game, uh, I don't yeah, see uh, NBA yeah. game. I don't see, you know, uh, 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 you going to a comedy co- concert or or a concert. I don't see stuff like that. Um, Maybe even a movie theater might might be affected. Yeah, if it's a I movie theater. They- with a bunch of people, I just don't think, even though they're talking about everything opening up, I just don't, I think it's certain things that's just not going to open up. Yeah. But it might. You really don't know to be seen. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> What's up, Butch? You no, know, they still don't, don't got no vaccine. Mm-hmm. So as long as you don't got no vaccine, it's too tough to call. Mm-hmm. It's too cold. It's too close, you know. What do you think will happen? Say something open up and then you have too much increases. Do you think it'll shut back down or will they keep it open? You say if. if Like say Atlanta opens up and you get way too many more cases because it's open up. Oh, yeah. It's going to fold. It's going to fold. Yeah, it's going to fold. Yep, it's going to fold. Pretty much. It might. It's just mainly an experiment when you think about it. Yep. <laughs> it's going to major city, and let's see what it do. Because they 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 they, they say uh, blacks or African Americans are uh, are forty percent of the deaths. Yeah. You know. So uh, it's gonna be interesting, man. I don't yeah. know. It's gonna yeah. be interesting. I just hope people eat. like you say. I mean, if your job open up, just go in there. Uh, be careful with your, your PPE. Um, I know our governor said, uh, even if you have questions or you you know you got a immune um issue, like you can't get fired if you say no, nah, I don't trust it. You know, you can't get fired. You can't get fired. But here's the issue with. With it, because I know my job just passed. Like, you can get up to, I think it's like two weeks paid time for like mm-hmm. 14 or if you catch it, but they're pretty much putting it all in one. So, here's the problem say you get exposed at work, mm-hmm. uh, and then you, you know, you get exposed at work, it's an automatic two weeks anyway. They'll send you home for like two yeah. weeks. Yeah. Now, say you get sent home for these two weeks. Okay, you get paid for whatever that thing they made for the two weeks. But say you never even had it. You just got exposed by this person who had it. You come back and but in time you come back, you actually catch it within a couple of weeks. Now you got an employee that's scared to actually go get tested or something because they might be living from check to check. So they don't want to lose their job. Mm-hmm. What happens then? You know, you got a domino effect. You got people staying at work, thinking they might be sick, but scared to go get tested because they don't want to be out of work. Mm-hmm. And getting other people sick, and these other people they might get sick, might not be able to handle it like they can. You know, yeah. they can actually probably die from it. Yeah. Well, I know. I know. In our state, she say, "Look," she said, "Listen, no company, if a company operates in Michigan, you cannot, because you got people out here who have like cancer and everything, man. Mm-hmm. Who immune system is not as not as strong, man. Can yep. get affected. Cancer. Yeah, well, you you cannot HIV. Yep. You cannot get rid of them. You know until this thing is under control." And I was like, damn, you know, so there's a lot of people. I mean, you you may have to go unemployment, but you still it's part of the company struggling with the unemployment. Yeah, they struggling big time. You know, I mean, if you can get the unemployment, I, I, I had a couple of people ask me to help them with the unemployment because they you know, you know, they tell you if you can't get it through to call the office, then you call your unemployment office to talk to somebody. You know, they all close. And you can't even get through. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of people struggling, man. Yep. So that's why I think they really want to open it up because there's a lot of people struggling. And like um uh I think it was Gail who said that. 
It's a lot of people who ain't received their stimulus checks. Oh. You know, they made so many requirements for it. So it might. Look, it's a lot of men, you know, it's a lot of men on child support. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of them. <laughs> so you got a lot of men on child support yeah. um, who haven't, uh, might have back pay yep. and haven't received their checks. Well, I, I know, uh, like I said, I know a couple guys uh, who definitely, uh, you know, they thought they was getting it. <laughs> and uh, it went towards, they snatched that. So uh, they baby, they, their, their baby mother or ex-wives or whatever it is, uh, yeah, is getting a couple checks. Yeah. <laughs> Are they giving it to them? Actually, giving it to yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, oh. because it's old, or either unless they either they owe the, the child support to the other parent, or they uh, the state is going to take it because she might be on state aid or something like that. Here, here's the issue with that: say the man wasn't really had no high back pay before this. Mm -hmm. Well, then he get a pork, and then he off work. Because of the uh, yeah. what the, the coronavirus, he got laid off work because you know everything yeah. shut down. It don't matter. It don't matter because those <laughs> child support payments still <laughs> go, <laughs> even though you're not getting a check, mm -hmm. you're still getting charged. Yep. So now, you know, you probably didn't owe, but now you owe because everything shut down. Yeah. And then when they get a stimulus check, the child support snatch it. It's a lot of people that's probably going through something like that. Oh, like I say, I know a few. <laughs> but them cats been they've been on um they've been on um back support, you know. And it's just that the stimulus check, you know, uh you know who I feel for though? Who? Cuz I got I got I got a friend who actually went through this and uh the house is heated cuz they filed together. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not funny, but <laughs> yeah. And they was they was getting. I think, man, he was. I mean, he doing good from where he was at. I think he was like, like fourteen, fifteen thousand. But I think he's still old. Like he was still down like six to seven thousand when mm -hmm. him and his wife was getting their kids because he got this is his first kid. They was getting like I think they got two kids. It's getting like thirty four hundred. Guess what happened? Took it. They <laughs> took it. Guess how the guess how his wife feel? I know she feel. I already know. <laughs> I already know. And it's even worse if they both out of work and looking oh, at each other all day long. Oh man, <laughs> I can't call me and say, "Hey, Dale, man, man." You need, to do, you need to do a. a they need to do like some studies because, you know, this is the first time family's been home. Yeah. Completely together for, you know, because you got school, you got all this stuff. So yeah. If you got older kids, sports, they got all their activities. So this is the first time a lot of families actually been home completely all together, you know, because some, some people not working. Mm -hmm. They should get like do some type of studies with that because, man. This stuff could charge uh, being stuck with with someone for that long, and you're not used to it. Could yeah, probably man. charge issue. You know, you can it start some issues, man. Oh, it's starting some issues. <laughs> they already they already had that on our local news. It started some issues, man. Yeah, man, it's, it's real bad because you know some people need that time away. Yeah, some people need it. That's why I tell that that job just uh, about to check. <laughs> hey, hey, look, that's why I tell hey, 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 if you you a mom or pops, husband or wife, uh, either if you got a house and hey, use the garage, <laughs> or invest in you a he shed, she shed. That way you could get away. You know what I'm saying? Every, I think both parties you need your space and stuff like that, man. Really, if you ain't you using space. That, you know, you need your space, so get a man cave or something. And you know, when you can't hide, well, not even I ain't calling it hide, just can't get that 
space that you used to. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, when you really think about it, how much time, if, if you got a family and y'all both working, the kids are going to school. How much time do you, are you actually spending in that home? Once everything's running at one time, it's not that many, maybe a few hours. <laughs> You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And then a lot of them hours add up with the time you're sleeping. You know, so mm -hmm. just used to being in y'all y'all all up in each other's face all day long. Oh man. That's it, man. Cause an issue. That's it. Force rate is going up. I, I could believe it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yo, how you got a haircut, bud? Who me? Yeah. <laughs> See, I cut my own hair. I cut oh. the ball. <laughs> I cut, I trim my side hit the gold tee. Yeah, I cut my eyes ball, but my kids, oh <laughs> <laughs> my kids, oh man, it's bad, man. It is bad. <laughs> and you know, I used to cut their hair, Steve, right? I cut their hair. But every now and then I mess up, you know, because they got that good fine hair like their mama and stuff. You know, they ain't got that. You know, we had waves and stuff, but, you know, we had to train our heads and stuff, right? They got this other stuff. <laughs> so every now and then I might put just a little manager patch. You know what I'm saying? But it'd be good like two days later. I always cut their hair on a Friday. So by Sunday night, <laughs> it blends right here, right? Well, long story short, they fired me, man. They say, no, nah, Dad, we, we, we don't want you cutting our hair no more. They got older. But now nah, they up there looking terrible, man. They looking terrible. Let's see. I've seen a couple pictures of people. Man, it's bad. They had that barber who was doing house calls who got sick. Mm -hmm. Trying to make that money, man. They said somebody just as bad. I don't know, man. I really just don't know what's the right answer. You know, some people upset that everything opening up. Um, some people upset everything opening up because, you know, the virus. Some people happy that's everything opening up because, you know, um, when you live in check to check, which is a lot of people living check to check, and they don't have no income no more, man. That can you don't got nothing you willing to take a chance. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the right or wrong answers for it. Um I don't know. You know, just gotta see. Gotta wait and see. Yeah. If Hillary Quinn was president, I think it really didn't matter who was going to be president, David, because yeah. the virus didn't start over here anyway. So I think whoever was president was going to have to deal with it because it, it shook up the world. This is the first thing I ever seen that just actually affected the whole world. <laughs> yeah. I tell you this, though, I think if we go like another uh, half a month, to a month, I think they're going to they gonna have to do another stimulus. There's no way people going to live off of that $1,200. Not when kids are home the and everything. The way that they did the stimulus wasn't correct anyway. Mm -hmm. I'd rather them to just did a freeze. Just did a uh, uh, some type of uh, with the bills. The rent freeze, stuff, stuff, stuff like that. Yeah, you know they ain't doing that. Just uh, you know, just a is paid. Yeah, you know, you know they ain't doing that. Steve, do you think it's too early? Oh, absolutely, it's too early to open it up because there's no vaccine. But I can't say it's the wrong move because you know I'm still working. I'm still working, so I can't judge another man or woman that's in a household 
that's bringing in no 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 money at all. They might not even be bringing in unemployment. They might not even get their uh, uh, stimulus check. So mm -hmm. I can't really speak on how they feel about the situation because it's two different positions. Because I'm still uh, working. So. Oh. Yeah, Tim said he think they just approved another one thousand a couple hours ago. Not sure. I know they were working on a small business. They approved um, the small business thing. I see. Yeah, but I think I think they will have to uh, really for a lot of people because look, twelve hundred. If you single, you only got twelve hundred. You know what I'm saying? Now, if y'all file jointly twenty four, then you got your kids. You know, um, everybody know, man. Some people mortgage and rent. Well, now I heard some mortgage companies, depending on who you are, are actually like, "Look, we're not accepting payments at this time." You know, so, not but, in Chicago. They still yeah. look for that rent. Oh yeah, they gonna do that. <laughs> they gonna do that. But I honestly, I believe um, with what's going on, uh, e even if you go to court, right? And say that landlord wants you out cut for non-payment. I think that judge is going to actually, you know, okay, if you want him out, well, I'm letting him stay there for another three months. You know, judge, oh, I was gonna yeah. be hard. It's gonna be hard to take somebody to court for eviction. Thank you. Thank you. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. I, I mean, think, it's hard, it was hard anyway. Mm -hmm. but, uh, now it's gonna be too hard. Yeah. To take any of your tenants to court for eviction because yep. it's gonna be should you dealt with a pandemic. So yep. how yep. can you do it? Yep. But the other bills and stuff that the people could just turn off. Now that's the problem. For mm -hmm. me. Yep. You know. He said he said that twelve hundred is done. You write a freeze would have been better, but companies would not go for that. Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them are invested in a lot of them companies. A freeze would be way better than the money, because like I said, people rents twelve hundred is not nothing. Nothing to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's the rent is so high in Chicago, man. I heard the second gonna be two thousand. Could be, it could be. We we'll know we're we'll knowing another week or so. We we're, we're knowing another week in about a week to ten days. We we'll know something, but I think they're gonna have to do another one because a lot of states are not opening up. I tell you that now, nah. and we may be one of them states because uh, you know she like forget that. I think my bills are around fifteen hundred a month. With my rent and stuff like that. So I can imagine somebody else. Like, because you got some of them people I know that live in certain places, they paying. You know, they got some people that's pushing over twelve, over 1200 a month with some of these rents in Chicago. Oh, this you brought a, a good point, Dale. People, landlords ain't gonna even take it to court for eventually. I wouldn't, because <laughs> there'll be I too wouldn't. much loss of money. It, it, and then it's gonna hurt because they're gonna have one of them judges. Well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say one of them judges. They're gonna have them judges that understand what the heck happened, mm -hmm. and they're gonna say, okay, now that they back to work, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let them stay in there for ninety days, rent free. That should give them enough time to save up. And, and move out. 90 days is a long time. And then let's just say if they don't move out in 90 days, you still may have to go down there. You know, so I, I think I think money, uh, man. Because remember the the, the I think it costs money to you know do that. Yeah, yeah it costs big it's money like, to keep going down there follow. A person just asks you to move rather than go to courts a lot of times. You don't really want to go to court like that. No. 
I wouldn't. I wouldn't even go to court for it. I'd be like, hey, look, I, 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 uh, I had to take what is this about four years ago in our other house, um, before we bought this house, I had to take my landlord to court. He was cool as heck to the end. He was cool as heck to the end, but he wanted me to knock him out, and I was real close because I, <laughs> I was going over there. Everything was cool. He's he said everything was straight. I got up over there. He said, yeah, but we've been there like four or five years. He had like, I mean, the place wasn't, he was mad because it was a little bit of uh, like some juice on the carpet, mm -hmm. you know, but he was trying to sell the house. So he tried to hold us accountable for it. And man, when I went over there, he was like, oh yeah, you can come on through. And when I went over there, he was like, well, let's talk. Well, I found this, this little nick in the wall where he had to just, uh, put some stuff on it and repaint. I mean, man, it was petty as heck, man. And I was getting ready to knock him out, man, because I wanted my money. I was That's what our landlord's not doing. Because when you really think about it, that, social, that, that, that security deposit, they don't want to give you back anyway. They don't want to give it back. They don't want to give it back. Yeah. And they're going to look for anything. Anything, man. Any little thing not to give you that security deposit back. The game is made not for you not to get that security deposit back. And it's a lot of judges and stuff that caught wind to that. So that's why you got a lot of people doing a move-in fee now. Yeah. Well, they people doing the move-in fees and stuff where they just don't even ask for the deposit. They say, hey, pay half and we're going to keep that. Yeah. I mean, you can find anything in a year. Yep. Well, I'm gonna tell you, man. Well, before we left, we took pictures. I had a video of everything, and I took pictures of everything, man, from corner to every square foot, just to let them know. Man, we went to court. Man, I, I you would have thought I was a lawyer, man. <laughs> I went over that bad boy prepared, man. And uh the money that we agreed to when he when he denied it and wouldn't give me money. I was like, I was like, all right, I'll pay for the little, the little juice. But then he went through nitpicking, like, oh, this and that, you know. I'm like, dude, we been here five years, wear and tear. Money back. Yeah, he. And so when he he didn't do it, I went for the full amount, man. And the judge gave it to me. The judge, I'm like, your honor. Yeah. So, you see what Silvio said. Mm hmm. Sylvia said he was on SSI and haven't received anything from the government. Damn. There's a lot of people like that, man. I'm sorry yeah. to hear that, Sylvia. Yeah, man. So. Damn. We're from a lot of people. I'm going to get ready to head out of here, man, soon. Actually, I feel you on that. Would you doing a show later? Nah, man. I was going to go... Uh... I was gonna go. Um, oh, I know something I wanted to ask you. You heard uh G Force now, the Xbox. Um, uh, not my Xbox, but uh, who was that? Stadia and um. Nah, uh, the uh, Warner Brothers games. Oh, and oh yeah, they took all their stuff. Xbox Game Studios and Warner Brothers brother yeah. took all their stuff off. Yeah, G Force now. Uh, today, so I was telling people because people was asking me about the games you buy from the cloud, and I was like, "You taking a chance now because they're losing so many gaming companies. You don't know what to do with G4 yeah. now." What what it was, and this is what I think triggered. Um, uh, because Geo Force when they was in beta, everything was free, and then when they went to the five dollar charge, I think that kind of struck. The other companies like hold up, you know, you charging, but we giving you these games, you know, that could have struck a nerve. Like, hold up, how are we gonna let you borrow all our stuff for free? And but then you charging for but, the, the the games that we put out there, it make you feel some type of way. But you know, for any gaming store, like if you in, in the play store, you usually paying to be in that store. So yeah, but remember it came out free though, right? What yeah, it came out free, so that's true. Yeah, but it's bringing bringing them wet revenue though. It's bringing them new revenue. Yeah, but that's like you. You say, "Hey, Dale, look, uh, you can borrow my Android box, right?" 
Mm-hmm. And it got it got Plex on there. And you find out I'm selling, I'm using you to sell your Plex. I'm making money. You giving me something for free. It's different though, because that's what's going on. It's going on, but it's like it's different because people already paid for the games. Yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with me. But if you got a free service, they want them to charge another ticket, period. Point. Yeah. Because if, <laughs> if you're gonna charge, if we giving you the games, we want you to charge. Love, and you you take it in now, you put a price on it, yeah. It could trigger. Yeah, it could trigger because now they want people to pay <laughs> a certain percentage to play their game. Thank you. <laughs> so if you giving me something for free, all right, man, you know, out of love, and then you go and say, All right, forget this, y'all gonna pay me a minimum five dollars. Yeah, and them people were like, Hold up, and y'all and we giving this to you out of love. No, nah, we can't have that. Should we start on? If they gonna pay y'all, they might as well pay me. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, shoot, I can't give you something for free, and then you go and charge the people with debt. You ain't even send me a stimulus check. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, no, it's just a bit. But here's the. It's it just sad to see. And it's greed too, Steve. It's, it's greed. It's, it's sad to see because you know it's a lot of people who spent their money, yeah, buying these games. Yeah, man. And so it just it should have made a better game. Uh, man. Yeah, it, I honestly, I I think, um, yes, that that was that that's 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 kind of rough. It's kind of rough because now you bought a game and you can't play it. Yeah. And it, it just it kind of make you say I should have just went to the council, you know. Even though the Nvidia Shield is a council, but maybe I should have just went directly to Xbox. I should just went to directly to that source. That source, yep. And that's what the, and that could be a reason too, why they're removing these games because they want you to go directly to that source. Yep. Heck yeah! If y'all gonna pay them five dollars, y'all can pay me seven. Eight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm gonna give you way more. You only gotta select a few, like PS. What's that? PS now. Yeah. You know, it's messed up. It's messed up, man. But uh, you know, hey, and I can't really tell people what to do about it because it's like, yeah, messed up. It's a messed up situation. At this point, they might have to think about just removing the service. I think they it, it may and just go to a dedicated, you know, um, either they're gonna have to link up, you know, and sign another agreement, you know, uh, which I think would be good, you know, uh, or I think it's just, it, it, it's good and bad because I understand the service, but it's just yeah, if they taking games on buying, it's bad. Hey, yeah. <laughs> And, and that's just like I said, like what we were talking about, hey, Steve. If you if you uh, if you got an apartment building, and uh, you know you you find out I'm charging people, <laughs> you know, yeah. Dale, hold up, I gave you this four unit apartment, and uh, you done brought some people by him, and you, and you're charging them. <laughs> you know, I, I let you stay here for free. A oh, wow, man, it's been two years. <laughs> And because I allowed you, I told you, uh, you know, you can stay here for free. And uh, if you paint this room, <laughs> you fix this toilet, you fix this sink. Oh, but behind my back, I ain't going to say behind the back, but now nah, you charge the people. You ain't giving me nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I understand, man. But it is it, part of business. It's just business. Business. Now they, you know, people it's try- shocking, though, that they would be going through it, though. I thought they would have had it more. I think I thought they would have had it more mapped out than this. Yeah. So that's probably why they went with the beta so long to get the games used to all that additional revenue. Yeah. Well, get ready to go, man. I'm good. I got to grab something to eat. Shout out to Super Delf TV for coming to the show. Salute. Make sure you guys subscribe to his YouTube channel. He be going live too and dropping videos. Thanks, yeah. Trooper Loop. <laughs> <laughs> um, brother, man. 
Me and True had a big debate. Oh, what? <laughs> what y'all have a debate about? Oh, uh, that video shield. Me and True. <laughs> do it to get the fire up the crowd. <laughs> you just got me to the limit. Nothing like the shield. <laughs> you you know, the shield. the shield is a bad boy. <laughs> we, we be wrapping them up, man. You should see it, man. People will be like, I got my shield. <laughs> <laughs> I got my 4K. You know, but, uh, I don't know about the shield now because a lot, hey, for them gamers. Boy, it's going to be some pissed people in there coming on, uh, finding out that news. Yeah, they're going to be mad. Oh, it's <laughs> going to be some. Uh, don't think it might not be a class action lawsuit, too, man. It could be because it's going it, to, it, it's coming around yep. where you said this was available in crowd and they spent, you know, like I said, I mean, it ain't a lot of money, but $50, $60 if you haven't paid for a game and now it's not unavailable. Yeah, it, it could, you know. Don't be surprised. I won't be surprised. That's why I said they might want to think about if this <laughs> keeps on happening, if they can't bring them back, just shutting it down. Regardless, <sighs> I think it's it's gonna come. We in, in another year, we'll hear about this. It's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be because it's it, it's causing a lot of confusion. Yeah, it's gonna be some problems, but you know, I yeah. can't. I can't even give you the correct answer for it. I mean, you just yeah. got to wait and see. Yeah, but it's not I, getting no better. It's getting worse. Yeah. I mean, the service is great, but the game that's being removed is, is, is beginning worse. Yeah. And a lot of people actually got the shield because they can go to that. Yep. There's a lot of people who it, bought it, the shield for G4 now. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of people that actually bought it because of that and because of the titles that was inside. So it's, uh, it's 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 hard. I don't know. We'll get ready to go, man. Make sure all you right. guys subscribe to Superdale. Thank you all for coming to the show. Shout out to all my mods, uh, Trooper Tim, everybody who helped with the show, man. And shout out to all you guys. Make sure you guys join me next week. Actually, I'm gonna try to get on here before next week. Yeah. Need to start getting on here about two, three times a week at least. Yeah, I'm about so, to go ahead and grab me some spaghetti, man. My wife be making. Some- <laughs> Eddie. But I'm going to talk to you guys later. Tune in next time so I can show you how to make the box yours. Salute. Peace. Thank y'all for coming. See you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe. To one hater, go wash your ass. Peace. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll holler. What Gail said? <laughs> oh, no, nah, Gail. I'm going to send you an email. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bro. Later.